Windows 11. It's the only OS that thinks animations are more important than your FPS. Today, we're gonna be turning this bloated TikTok scrolling simulator into an actual gaming machine. I'm gonna be revealing optimization secrets, everything you guys need to know head to toe to have your Windows 11 optimized. And that way you don't have to worry about delay, FPS stutters, anything like that. Your Windows is gonna be fully optimized and then you don't have to worry about watching a hundred different videos. It's just your one-stop shop. And you'll be good to go. I don't wanna waste any more of you guys' time. Let's go ahead and get right into the video. The first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is join my Discord. The link will be in the description. Once you're in my Discord, head over to the YouTube Tweaks channel here on the left. At the bottom here, you'll find a file that says Windows 11 Optimization. Obviously, this one says Fortnite Optimization. This video is not about optimizing Fortnite. It's about Windows 11 Optimization. So I'm going to be putting a new file in here as soon as I upload this video. So just find the one that says Windows 11 Optimization, Signs, download it, extract it, put it on your desktop. Once it's on your desktop, go ahead and open it up. I have everything in here laid out really easy for us. I know it looks like a lot, but don't worry. I'm going to walk you guys through everything. And I want this video to be in-depth, and that way you don't have to go watch 100 videos. You have everything right here in this one video to fully optimize your windows. So the first thing we're going to want to do is install our DirectX and visuals. If you've already installed these, don't worry. We're just going to do them again just to be safe. If you do have a bad or corrupt install of one of these, it can definitely cause issues in your games. So we're just going to get a fresh install. Double click on this. It says signs, runtimes, install. Just double click on this. This is going to install everything automatically for you. You don't have to click anything during this process. So then once it's done, it'll close out automatically. This one says double click me. This is for the DirectX. So just click on this. Click I accept. Click next. Next. It's going to automatically reinstall all your DirectX. Once it's done, it'll look like this. Just click finish. That's perfect. It's done. Once you're done with that, you're good to go. Go ahead and go back one. Then go to registry optimizations. Double click in this. Double click on this. Click run. Click yes. And then click OK. If you guys want to know what it's doing, everything we're using in this video is of course open source. You can right click and click edit on any bat, registry, anything like that that we're using and see exactly what it's doing. This one is disabling telemetry so Windows can't spy on you. And it's also setting the right priorities in the back end for your CPU, GPU, and prioritizing your games when it's open. But once you're done with this, go ahead and go back one. Go to fix Windows timings. I have a timer fix in here. You're just going to want to double click on this bat and run it. It'll automatically close. Again, like I just said, everything's open source. This one's really easy. You can see exactly what it's doing. Of course, feel free to run these individually if you want to in your own command prompt, but I have bats and files in here just to make it easy for us. The stock Windows timing is trash and it butchers your 0.1% lows and your 1% lows. This is basically going to fix that. It also does lower your input delay a bit, so this is just a win-win all around. Once you're done with that though, go ahead and open up Device Manager here. Expand Device Manager and then expand System Devices right here. So just open that up. Find High Precision event timer and disable it. So you can see for me, it's already disabled. So I'm gonna right click and enable it. And then I'll show you guys what you wanna do. Just right click and then click disable device. So we wanna make sure high precision event timer is disabled and then do that exact same thing for system timer down here. Go ahead and disable that. I have a video on my channel called timer resolution where I explain in depth why we're disabling these. So go watch that video if you wanna see in depth of exactly why this helps. But to sum it up very briefly is basically we don't want the OS controlling these timers. We want our hardware to control this. So we're just gonna disable it on the window side and let our hardware take control of these timers themselves. Once you're done with this, go ahead and press X on this, then go back, go to import power plan. I have another open source script in here, which is just going to import my power plan. All you have to do is this, is double click on it. It'll say importing power plan. So once it's imported, just come down here to edit power plan, press enter, go to power options and make sure the selected power plan is science power plan. This power plan is extremely custom. There's tons of hidden settings on the back end, which windows doesn't expose for a power plan. And this setting has all those settings pre-configured, pre-optimized for you. It's way more optimized than ultimate performance, high performance, or any other custom power plan out there. Again, I do have another video on my channel where I have benchmarks with my power plan versus others. But to keep this video short for you guys so it isn't like two hours long, this one is the best for latency, FPS, everything. It's win-win all around. So once you have it selected, you're good. Press escape. Go back one, then go to window settings here, open up settings, click gaming here on the left, make sure game mode is on. Like it says right here, it's just gonna optimize your PC by turning off things in the background. So we want this on. Then go to graphics, go to change default graphic settings and make sure these two are checked. If you're on an older computer, hardware accelerated GPU scheduling, also known as hags, can cause some issues for you. So if you do turn this on and then you see that you're kind of having some stutters, just disable this and then you'll be good. For newer systems though, we do want this on. This does have to be on to take advantage of frame generation in DLSS 4. So for most of us on newer systems we really want this on then come down here to privacy and security for each one of these click into here and just make sure everything's off so general just inking and typing just everything just click in here and just make sure all this stuff is set to off and then you can close out of settings go back one and head to number five nvidia control panel there's just a text in here that says right click desktop click nvidia control panel so go ahead and do that the most important thing you can do in here is click use the advanced 3d image settings because if you click this top one or click this bottom one this whole page doesn't matter it's not going to use the custom settings we have in here so it doesn't matter even if this preference one 
one right here says quality, it doesn't matter because this one isn't clicked. So just make sure it's on the middle one no matter what. And then we're going to use our manage 3D settings options. Make sure all these top ones are off. Background application max frame rate, just leave that off. Who to GPUs, all. Who to system fallback policy, just leave this on driver default. DSR factors, you want to make sure that one's off. Low latency mode, this is one that may vary per system. For 90% of you guys, I would just leave this on on. If you have a really old GPU, like a 1660 Super or anything older than that, then change this to ultra. Otherwise, anything that's newer, just always leave it on on. Max frame rate, leave this off. Monitor technology, fix refresh. Multi-frame sampled off. OpenGDI compatibility, leave this on auto. There is an option in here that says prefer performance, but if you do this, it is actually gonna mess up some of your games. This setting right here can be misleading because it says prefer performance and on paper you think that sound better, but most games aren't optimized to handle this, so it actually worsens your FPS by a lot. So just leave this on auto. OpenGL rendering GPU, however, set that to your GPU. Power management mode, we want this on prefer maximum performance. Preferred refresh rate, keep that on highest available. Shutter cache, either set this to unlimited or 100 gigabytes, that way your shader cache just has plenty of room to build up. For the next setting, we just went off, allow, high performance, try linear optimization on, started the optimization, I'd highly recommend keeping this one on auto, triple buffering off, make sure vertical sync is off, and then for these settings, we just went one, off, auto. Once you're done with that, click the apply button down here in the bottom right. I already have these settings, so it's not there for me. Then head over to surround physics right here, physics settings, make sure the processor is set to your GPU. Even if you have an old GPU and it's super trashy, we still want it to be on the GPU, so go ahead and select that one. On adjust desktop color settings, I'd highly recommend doing 70% on your digital vibrance, just as it's going to make the colors pop way more. Then go to adjust desktop size and position and make sure no scaling is selected. Then go to video right here. Click advanced right here on this tab click with the NVIDIA settings and then set the dynamic range to full. That's going to make your colors pop even more. Once you're done with that, click apply. Then you're good to close out of NVIDIA control panel. Go back one and then go to optimize mouse and keyboard. There's a few different scripts in here. Like I've been saying, everything's completely open source. You can see exactly what it's doing. Apply these manually if you want to as well. But to save time, I'm just going to run the bats here. So just right click on this one. It'll run and automatically close. Again, it's a reg edit open source here. It says open this one click yes click ok again this is the keyboard one close out of this run that and automatically close this is basically just disabling all power saving for your mouse and keyboard and lowering the delay as much as possible through the registry once you're done go ahead and go back then go to display settings open the shortcut i have here for it what i wanted to make sure here is you guys are on your maximum hertz so you see both your monitors right here scroll down to advanced display and click on this and then where it says choose a refresh rate what we want to do is make sure it's at the highest refresh rate for both your monitors so display one for me is 360 display two for me is 60 so just make sure it's on your maximum hertz and then just go ahead and close out of this go back one go to eight visual optimizations here it says visual performance tweaks go ahead and open up this shortcut here and then you guys probably have everything checked here what i recommend you guys doing is just clicking adjust for best performance and then checking these boxes here this just makes it so your windows isn't going to look like crap but it's also not going to have all the bloat on there that you don't need so once you're done with that just click apply i do want to mention on this advanced tab don't click programs or background services. Even if you already have programs checked here, don't click it again and click apply, just leave it alone. One of the registries we ran earlier is changing this setting on the back end to a custom value. And if you click on programs, it's actually gonna override that value. So if you already did click on programs and override that value, then just come back here and run this Windows 11 tweaks reg again, and it'll overwrite this setting again. Cause the one we're setting through this registry is better than this one here. So like I said, it'll look like programs is checked, but just don't click it again, it's fine. It's using the registry value. So click okay on that then go back, open up MSI utility here open this up if you get an error when it opened up you may need to download msi utility from github online but if it did open up just fine then you're good to go yours and mine are probably going to look a lot different all we're looking for is our gpu so ignore the random text in front you might not have that either if you do though just ignore it like i am and we're looking for our gpu so you can see this one says nvidia geforce rtx 5080 so we know that's our gpu right there make sure on the msi box it's checked here you can see it now it's checked and then go to the right on the gpu and we want to make sure it's on undefined so some people will tell you it's on high and that's absolutely wrong it's it's going to completely mess up your interrupts and your gpu is literally going to be throttled so make sure this is on undefined like i said earlier we want to make sure the hardware is having full control of what it needs to do once you have those settings click apply i'd recommend clicking refresh up here and make sure it didn't reset so again we can see it's still checked still on undefined so we're our settings saved we're good to go go ahead and x out of msi utility go back one then go to timer resolution this is kind of an extension of the fixed windows timings earlier like i said i have a video about this on my channel if you want to know in depth of why this actually helps but in short terms it reduces your latency and boosts your zero 0.1% and your 1% lows. So you can see I have a file in here that says put this in C drive. So go ahead and open up this. So go ahead and copy time resolution, open up C drive and just paste it in here. You can see I have mine in here already right there. Then go back, go to put this in shell startup, copy disable driver power saving and set timer resolution, open shell startup, and then paste those both in here. You'll actually see these in the startup section. So if you click startup apps, you'll see disable driver power saving and set timer resolution is in here. So these two files will start up when your computer starts up. Timer resolution, like I said, is boosting our 0.1s and our 1% lows and reducing our input delay a bit. 
bit and then disable driver power saving. This is just calling on the drivers, your keyboard, mouse, controller, things like that use and then disabling power saving on it. So of course we want that to happen every time our computer starts up as well. So once you have those in there, you're gonna close out of this, go back, go to 11 startup apps. So where we just were before, I just have a shortcut in here just to go to startup apps. Other than the two things we just put in there, disable driver power saving and set time resolution, we wanna disable everything else. So if you've installed Steam, Riot Games Client, Epic Games Client, anything like that, like Blizzard, EA, any bloat like that, just disable it all. We don't want a hundred things starting up when our computer starts up. We want, we want it to be fresh, responsive, clean. We want to open up things manually. That way we don't have a hundred things open that we're not even using. Obviously, if you need things like Vanguard for an anti-cheat to start up, just leave that on. But if it's just bloat like the Riot client, make sure that's turned off. So once you're done with that, go back, go back again. I do have some optional settings in here for my more advanced users. I'd recommend you guys doing this, but I know not everybody's comfortable with it, but I would disable Windows Defender, which I have a link in here to do. I would disable Windows Updates, which I have a link to do. Of course, when you update Windows, it is going to reset some of the tweaks. I recommend staying on Windows 11 23H2. So of course, if you are on 23H2 like myself, you don't want it automatically upgrading to 24H2 or 25H2. So we can use this to block Windows updates. Then I have a shortcut in here to disable firewall as well, as well as a shortcut to go ahead and uninstall game bar. Like I said, this stuff is all optional. It's more so for my advanced users who literally want the least delay possible and don't want anything interrupting their system. Windows updates and Defender and stuff can do stuff in the background without you knowing. So there's a quick way to go ahead and just disable it. Start all back, I have a link for it as well. What this does is it replaces Windows search, taskbar, and UI elements with a more lightweight version of it. I love start all back and I use it all the time. I'm actually using it right now. So you can see how it kind of makes a start menu look. And I'm on Windows 11, but you can even customize your UI to look like Windows 10. I'm not sponsored by start all back or anything like that, but I do use it. So I wanted to throw it in here. It is a free program, but they do have a premium license and I think it's like five bucks or something. Other than that though, guys, this is a pretty in-depth optimization guide for Windows 11. If you do this, you shouldn't have to worry about delay, stutters, anything like that. You should be good to go. I will say this is probably about 20% of my actual optimization service on signs.net. All the optimizations we do in my service are hidden things that I found myself. Can't find them anywhere else on the internet. Through months of benchmarking, trial and error, just digging deep within Windows, I found hundreds of things that I can't find anywhere else. And in my service, we're taking care of all that secret stuff for you, hidden BIOS settings, all the hidden Windows settings and everything like that. If you guys want to join my Discord and see my hundreds of vouchers, of course, check out the Vouch channel on my Discord. You can book an optimization with me on my website, signs.net. I'll be happy to take care of you guys. And then that way you don't have to worry about stutters, FPS, delay, anything like that ever again your system will be set for life you'll be good to go to run any game at its literal maximum performance but if you guys have any questions leave a comment down below also let me know what you guys want to see next in the comments down below i'm always ready for more suggestions if this video did help you out be sure to leave me a like it helps me out a lot subscribe to the channel for more optimization videos like this i already have a lot of optimization videos on my channel already too so be sure to go ahead and check those out if you guys are interested in more optimizations other than that though guys you guys have a great rest of your day peace